laboratory safety. After completing this video, you should be able to 1. Demonstrate proper knowledge of the safety rules associated with performing a laboratory dissection, and 2. Identify the equipment used in a laboratory dissection and explain how to use this equipment in a safe and proper manner. In this section, we'll cover the basic rules for safely performing laboratory dissections, including disposal of the specimen and cleanup of your work area. When performing laboratory dissections, it's important to read ahead and have an understanding of the task at hand. You should always read the instructions at least twice. If you have any questions about the procedure, ask your instructor before you start. Follow the directions given exactly. Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE, is important to laboratory safety. Always wear PPE while you are dissecting. This includes laboratory goggles, gloves, and aprons. Remember to always keep your hands away from your face, eyes, and mouth when performing dissections. Have a designated area that is cleaned off. It's preferable that this area is well ventilated and not on carpet in case of spills. Materials should be set out in an organized fashion. Never touch objects outside the designated work area. This could bring contaminants into other areas. Never wear PPE out of the designated area. Again, this could cross-contaminate other areas. After the dissection is complete, be sure to dispose of all specimens in the trash, not the sink. Clean up your work area after your dissection is complete. Use any household cleaner and clean paper towels or cloths to wipe down the counter space. Used dissection tools can be placed into a container of isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Just allow the alcohol to remove debris and then place the tools on a paper towel to quickly air dry. Water shouldn't be used as this will cause your tools to rust. Do not attempt to clean sharp tools, such as scalpels, with your hands as you risk cutting yourself. Be sure to return all equipment to its proper place. Don't allow others to get a hold of dissecting equipment, as many of the tools are sharp and can pose a danger to others. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water when you've finished. In this section, we'll cover the tools used for laboratory dissections. Using the right tool for the job will make the dissection process quicker and easier. It's important not to destroy your specimen by using improper techniques or tools. Always use the dissection pan and never use a scalpel while holding the specimen in your hand. The specimen should be mounted to the pan, where applicable, with the use of dissecting pins or string to tie the specimen down. Dissecting pins, or T-pins, are used to secure loose tissues and skin that's been reflected or turned back. The pins assist in safety as they keep your hands away from the dissection. It's important to note that most cuts for dissections can be done using scissors. Keep this in mind before immediately going for a scalpel. Scissors can also be used for cutting cartilage and soft bone. Scalpels are used to cut skin and muscle, not bone or cartilage. Always handle the scalpel with extreme care. The scalpel should be held like a pencil to gently tease away soft tissue. Cut only in one direction as the scalpel is not serrated and shouldn't be used like a steak knife or saw. Remember to never cut toward fingers and never hold the specimen in your hand while cutting with the scalpel. Always lay the specimen in the dissecting pan before cutting. The dissecting needle is used to point out fine structures. Again, this assists with safety and keeping fingers away from the dissection. A blunt probe is used for moving structures to the side and pointing out structures. Forceps are used for grabbing structures and manipulating them. Use paper towels to mop up excess fluids as soon as they appear. This will allow the organism to be viewed clearly. In this video, we've reviewed laboratory safety including PPE and cleanup. You should have a good idea about how to be safe during a dissection. You should now know how and when to use each tool. Finally, we covered how to handle biological specimens. If you have any questions, ask your instructor before you begin dissecting.